Third, on uh, Sunday, Awang selamat in Putusan, Malaysia. Lashed out at me for meeting female members of parliament from Singapore in my office on Friday. I do not know how Putusan, Malaysia know. Because uh, I mean on Friday, it really come out on Sunday. They might either have a spy or they are peeping toms, I know. Peeping toms would like to look up, look at, still looks at women, women one. In this case, is female women and peace. Why is there a conspiracy when I meet when I meet MPs or female MPs from Singapore, but not when I meet MPs from Australia, from New Zealand, and from other countries? So there's double standard there. And also when they when the female MPs meet the federal government or other state governments, no problem. But when they meet the Penang state government, no problem. That is another double standard. And I was told that the female Singaporean MPs had met Amro Wanita also. I'm sure this has been cleared by the foreign ministry. So, if it is a conspiracy for me to receive a courtesy call from Singaporean MPs led by their cabinet minister Grace Fu, then when they go and see Amro Wanita on the same day in Penang, is that also a conspiracy? I think Amno and uh, Utusan Malaysia should get their logical thinking right. Again, by doing that, they are showing that they are not only immoral, they are not only unethical, they are also un-Malaysian. Because Malaysia wants to have understanding and engagement with everyone in the world. Not to close up, not to sharp conspiracy every time someone comes and visit you. That is immoral, unethical and un-Malaysian. So is Utusan and Amno going to sharp conspiracy since they also receive the Singapore MP's delegation? <coughs>